A brand new 50p entered circulation this month as we celebrate the diversity that built Britain. We also returned to the 100 Acre Wood with the release of the Christopher Robin 50p and there were three brand new £5 coin releases this month as well. We can't quite believe how quickly this month has gone and how many exciting numismatic updates there have been. It's certainly been a busy one, so let's get stuck in and run through this month's highlights. I'm Alex. And I'm Rachel and welcome to the Change Checker newsletter. So earlier this month, we had a surprise Saturday coin release of a brand new diversity built Britain 50p coin. Now, Alex, I don't know about you, but I certainly have never seen a coin released on a Saturday. Um, it wasn't what we were expecting on an October Saturday morning, but it was a really, really fantastic surprise for everyone to see this brand new 50p coin that was actually released. Yeah, exactly. And you're right. And it is so special. And what's more is obviously we knew that there were discussions earlier on this year about BAME figures being better represented on UK coins and banknotes. So it is great to see that this coin is the first in a series celebrating the diversity that built Britain. And famously, Dominique Evans, obviously engraver from the Royal Mint, has designed this one. You might know her from the Victory in Europe Day £2 coin, the Jane Austen £2 coin, and the King George III £5 coin. I love this coin. I think everything about it is amazing, specifically the design Design, but obviously the messaging behind it. But you're going to talk us through some of the specifications about this coin, aren't you, Rachel? Yes, yeah, so Alex, I think you're right. The design is something extra special. It's been designed by Dominique Evans, who has drawn on her experience growing up as a mixed race woman. So I think it's really special that she's been chosen to design the diversity built Britain 50p. It features a geodome, which has the interconnecting triangles, which really symbolise the strength of diversity in Britain and how different aspects come together to create one solid whole. So I think it's a really special message behind the design of this 50p coin. Of course, it's been issued in brilliant uncirculated quality, so you can secure it for your collection in that superior quality, but it's also entering circulation, which I think is going to be the most exciting news for change checkers. We haven't seen a 50p enter circulation since, of course, that Brexit 50p, which everyone was talking about. So it's going to be great for us to finally get a chance to find a coin in our change. I know, obviously, less cash has been used at the moment because of the current climate so you know as we safely return to using more cash make sure that you're checking your change and make sure that you're looking out for them and if you do find one send us a picture we want to know we want to see them because i haven't seen one yet i know it's not exactly been very long but i'm keeping my eyes peeled anyway but it is a really special coin and we've got a blog all together about it with the details and if you haven't secured one yet you can do so on the blog Now, earlier this month, we saw the release of the Christopher Robin 50p, which of course became the second coin in the 2020 Winnie the Pooh 50p series. Earlier this month, we asked you to vote what your favorite Winnie the Pooh 50p was from this 2020 series, and you voted Christopher Robin. So no surprises, this coin has already proved incredibly popular with collectors. It's definitely my favorite out of the three, but Rachel, what is your favorite? Yeah, I do think Christopher Robin is lovely, but those three coins, they have just got to be the highlight of 2020, I think. My favourite has got to be Piglet, so I'm really excited for when Piglet 50p will be released later this year. Um, and I think it would just be great to have all three coins from the 2020 series as a collection. Of course, it's going to continue into 2021 and 2022 as well. So overall, there will be nine coins in this series. And I think that's really special as well, Alex. You know, we haven't seen a big collecting series like this for a while. We had the Beatrix Potter 50ps, which were really, really popular with collectors. But I think Winnie the Pooh could be as popular, if not even more so, with collectors. Yeah, I definitely agree. He touches the hearts, doesn't he, of, you know, Winnie the Pooh fans from generations, but also coin collectors themselves. And I think particularly this Christopher Robin 50p, it really tunes into the original stories by A.A. A. Milne, you know, these original illustrations by E.H. Shepard. So the depiction that we see on the coin is obviously Christopher Robin carrying his very best friend down the stairs. And it's just so, I just love it. I think it's adorable. I think it's so sweet and a really fitting tribute to obviously the story behind the legend that is Winnie the Pooh. Now these coins have been signed by the Walt Disney Company, obviously, like I said, with inspiration from those original illustrations by E.H. Shepard. We love them. We love this series. And we know that you guys do. You've been getting in touch, letting us know which ones are your favourite. But we have mentioned this before, but just to let others um, aware if they haven't heard or to remind those of you that have. Rachel, who are you most looking forward to appearing in the series? You know what? I'm really, really excited to see which characters appear on the upcoming 50Ps. And I would love it if Kanga was to appear. She's got to be my favourite of all the Winnie the Pooh characters. But Alex, 
Which Winnie the Pooh character is your favourite that you would like to see on a 50p? Well, my favourite is Tigger. I love him. Like I've said in previous videos, I just love how cheeky and positive and happy he is. But I'd love to see all of them, even Eeyore, even his little sad <laughs> face. It would be so cute on a 50p. But we can't wait to see. And we want to know who you guys want to see in this 50p series. Let us know who your favourite characters are and let us know, you know, kind of what coins you're expecting and what coins you're hoping to see from the Winnie the Pooh 50p series. So throughout October, we actually saw three £5 coin launches and we'll start with the next coin in the Tower of London series. So this was celebrating the Royal Mint. Yep, of course. And we all know that Wales has long been the location of the Royal Mint, but did you know that before this, it had two previous homes? So it was kept secure at Tower Hill for a period of time, but before that, it was actually housed in the walls of the Tower of London for over 500 years. Can you believe that, Rachel? <laughs> yes, you're right. So this is actually the third coin in the Tower of London series. We've already seen the Royal Menagerie and the White Tower, and we're waiting for that very final coin, the infamous prison, and that will then complete the whole 2020 Tower of London collection. Now these coins are extra special, they each feature that exclusive Tower of London mint mark. We actually saw it on the 2019 coins as well, but it only appears on the Tower of London coins, which I think is really special. Yep, you're right, it certainly is special. And also, just to mention that when all of these coins are placed together, so once we've got all four of them released, you will see a Norman Arch window, kind of like in jigsaw style. So I think it's a really fitting end to the series. Obviously, we saw a similar one with the floor plan of the Tower of London in the 2019 series. So really nice that that's been carried on this year. I love these coins. I think they're incredible. And I'm particularly excited about the infamous prison coin coming out later this year. It's going to be really interesting to see kind of what stories can be brought up after that coin is released because the Tower of London is famous for its prisoners, isn't it? You know, everyone knows that if you were bad in medieval England, you'd get sent to the Tower. So I'm really excited for that coin to be released mm -hmm. and I'm sure other collectors out there are too. Definitely. If you want to find out more about this exciting coin series, then you can head over to our blog and you can secure the coin for your collection there as well. So every year to commemorate the lives of those that have fought for our freedom, the Royal Mint issues a five pound remembrance coin. And this year it commemorates the unknown warrior. who's an unidentified British soldier who was brought home from France in 1920 for a ceremonial burial in honor of those who lost their lives in the First World War. Now, this five pound coin is so special for a number of reasons. Obviously it's commemorating a really significant cause, but particularly about the design of this coin, it's incredible because it features selective color printing. Now we haven't seen so many coins, have you, Rachel? Yes, yeah, so we've only actually seen selected colour printing on the past Remembrance Day £5 coins, and this year we saw it on the British Red Cross £5 as well. Normally it's only reserved for the silver proof coins, but to see it on a base metal specification is extra special. And I think for this Remembrance Day £5, to have that vivid red colour of the poppy stand out is just so important, especially as the poppies really make up the backdrop of this year's coin, with the silhouette of the lone soldier in the middle there as well. I think the design is absolutely incredible and it's definitely going to be very popular with collectors this year, I think. I think so too. I mean, every year these coins prove popular. It's the time of year, isn't it, that we all kind of come together and we say thanks and we're all feeling very appreciative. And I think this coin is such an amazing tribute, especially, you know, now more than ever, we're honouring the lives of those that kind of fight tirelessly to protect us. So I... I completely agree. I think this coin is going to be incredibly popular with collectors. But if you want to find out more about this coin, we've got a blog together. So just head over to the Change Tech blog and you can find out more there. So it was really great in October that we actually saw the final coin in the James Bond £5 series released. This completes the trilogy and spells out the iconic 007 motif. I think we've all been waiting for this moment since the very first coin was released. And now you can complete the series and spell out the 007, which is just so iconic for James Bond. I think James Bond fans are really going to love this series. Yep, you're right. We've seen the popularity of the first and second coins already. They've been incredibly popular, but this third coin I think is going to follow suit. We've already seen collectors paying interest to it because obviously the designs were all released at the beginning when we saw that first coin. They were obviously released, meant to be as part of a trilogy, like a series, like Rachel said. But this final coin is actually my favourite. It's got James Bond's very tuxedo in it and his martini preference, which is shaken, not stirred, written at the bottom. I love this coin and I love the series. You know, it's fitting tribute to really one of Britain's most loved secret agents, but 
I, you know, like I said, my third, the third coin is my favourite, but do you have a favourite, Rachel? I think, you know, you, you kind of need all three coins to create the whole series anyway, but I actually think my favourite's got to be the first coin. It's, of course, featuring the iconic Aston Martin from James Bond. Um, and I think it just sums up that whole lifestyle of luxury. Being such a suave secret agent, I think James Bond with his iconic Aston Martin, it has to be a favourite coin of the series for me. But let us know in the comments if you have a favourite of the series and if you've secured it for your collection as well, because, of course, it is a really exciting series. We haven't really seen anything like this on a £5 coin before. So I think it is great that James Bond has been celebrated. Of course, the 25th Bond film, it's actually been delayed now until until next year due to the current environment but equally I can't wait to see that one when it comes out um, 25 is something quite incredible I think so a really great series to celebrate such an amazing British icon We recently uploaded the top 10 rarest coins in circulation video. And I think if you're a collector just starting out, or if you're more of an experienced collector who just needs reminding of those top coins to be looking out for, this video will be really helpful for you. Yes, there really are some holy grail coins out there. The ones that collectors look for time and again. Um, but really, I think it's important to look at the top 10 list and take into consideration the different denominations because it's interesting to see that only one on our list is actually a 50p. The majority are made up of the £2 coins. There are some incredibly rare £2 out there, which you guys need to be looking out for. Exactly. It is those two pounds that have kind of snuck in that, like you say, most people don't really expect. But it is really important to look out for those other denominations. I mean, obviously, this top 10 doesn't include those A to Z 10 P's. We know, obviously, how many of each design were released from the 2018 series, but we're yet to find out how many from the 2019 series. So it could be that we see an A to Z 10 P, you know, creep into the top 10. Who knows? We're super excited to find out about that. But if you want to watch the video and you want to find out what coins in circulation are the top 10 rarest, then you can do so by going onto our YouTube channel. So we have some exciting new coins coming up on the horizon. It looks like there's going to be a new Music Legends £5 coming out very soon. And we have an update on that very sought after Team GB 50p coin. That Team GB 50p coin has pretty much been the talk of the year, hasn't it, in the collecting community? And we're so excited to have this new update. So make sure if you want to find out more about what coins are on the horizon and specifically that Team GB 50p, make sure you head over to the Change Checker blog now. Have you tested your A to Z 10p knowledge in Change Checker's latest quiz? Well, the questions are really tricky, but we've had some really impressive scores come in, which suggests that we've got some very knowledgeable numismatists amongst us. Yes, definitely. So this quiz was testing all your knowledge on those A to Z 10p's, which have proved so popular. In fact, they really have been the talking point of the collecting world since they were first released back in 2018. So if you haven't already, make sure you head over to Facebook and there you'll be able to find out how you can take our A to Z 10p quiz and let us know what score you managed to get. Well, October has been nothing short of jam-packed with loads of numismatic news. And as we start to head closer towards Christmas, that is showing no signs of slowing down. It's certainly not. And remember, if you're watching on YouTube and you don't want to miss any future Change Checker videos, make sure you're hitting that subscribe button and the notification bell to stay up to date with all the latest from us. And if you're watching on Facebook, why not give us a thumbs up? Remember, you can listen to Change Checker whenever and wherever you are by heading over to the podcast, which is available on all major streaming platforms. Thanks for watching today and we'll see you next time where we're reporting on all the latest from the month of November.